Machow. That was a great break. The fact that it hit off the top of the dugout. And then a beautiful catch. A great catch on one hop. And she went up and got it. She got it one handed. Boy, sign her to a contract. <laughs> How about that? Hello, it's Johnny Buffet coming to you from somewhere ashore. And I'm not going to say where because I'll get in big trouble. As you can see behind me, this is all about our cruise crew friend Eileen. Eileen! Eileen is on the phone with me. Eileen, thank you for coming back to Cruise Crew TV. Oh, hello from Plainfield, Illinois. Oh, you know, uh, you must have you must have had a crazy couple of days. How many interviews have you have you done over the time that you became a hero? Well, I think you know. I I think. In the past 48 hours, I think you're probably my 20th interview. But but by far, by far, you are the best one. You, I've been waiting and waiting for you to call. And what the hell took you so long? Well, you know, I, I, I'm having some trouble with the signal, the signal where I am, so I have to go upstairs and that, come back down and all that. It's a pain. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Yes. But I finally have you on the line, and I'm gonna start digging deep. And I'm and I'm sure you've heard all the same questions. Uh, how did you How did you feel when the bat was coming at you and all that stuff? And I gotta tell you, I've seen I've seen the video a few times, and you know, by looking at the expression on your face, it just t said to me, uh, not not like uh, bring it on, or because this is gonna be pretty uh, intense. This is more like, this is going to be fun. You, you, you had a smile all the time, even, you know, when the, the, the bat was, even before the bat even bounced on the dugout, from the end, from end until the time the, um, until your boyfriend started to grab at the bat and everybody was clapping. Um, I got to gotta tell you, your, your beautiful smile just never went away. Oh, you're so sweet for saying that. But let me tell you, I I was can't believe I even had it in my hand, and I was so so excited. I've never caught anything at a baseball game, let no let alone a freaking bat. <laughs> the uh, the way the way the bat just fell right into your hand, the middle of the bat, ideally for balance and everything. It uh, it just your your arm was like this, and it just boop. There we go, and. No, I think if it required talent, I don't think I would have gotten it. So. <laughs> now, the other thing I noticed in the video was the beer. Did you finish your beer and enjoy it while people were still clapping and talking about you? Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, if anything I learned from cruising is, man, you don't let your beer spill no matter what. Exactly. You know what I mean, yeah. But you had... You know the beers at ballparks are not cheap. You know you're spending eight nine dollars for a beer, so you don't you can't let any of that go to waste. Exactly. The uh, the uh, no. Did you get did you get any free beer afterwards? Whether uh, whether you know out when you're out and about in the general public or um, when you were doing your groceries late, uh, earlier today? <laughs> I had. Plenty of offers for beer afterwards. So. Yeah, any commercial offers? Like you want to be a spokes no, spokeswoman for any company? No, no, uh, no. I'm not going to be a, a Miller Lite girl or nothing like that. But uh, some some of the fans offered me beer. Nice. So the um, the the batter's name was Tyler Flowers. Now let's hope he becomes. Uh, a good player. Hopefully, he can make it into the Baseball Hall of Fame as a good player, and not be renowned for the guy who whose uh, bat fell into the stands and Eileen caught the bat. Because that'll make you even more of a celebrity, in my opinion. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, you know, I really don't know him, so I I don't know how how well he is. I've heard him before, but I don't know. Oh, okay. So he actually uh, two innings later when he he got struck out and he was pissed at the ump, so he threw his bat. 
and then they kicked him out of the game. So he even got kicked out of the game. Oh, okay. So when he, yeah. So this, uh, you know, Dan was saying to the because you know when they gave me it back, back, it wasn't signed. So oh. you know, so it just said his name on it. So I'm like, well, man, I wanted an autograph, you know. So so when he got kicked out of the game, Dan's t- telling the guys, hey, he's he's nothing, he's doing nothing now. He's just sitting around, so they have to sign this bat. So they took it and got him signed it. Nice. So is what is it a Louis? Is it a Louisville Slugger or is it one of those uh, Rowling's Adirondacks? I don't know if they make them anymore. I but... don't know. It's black. <laughs> it's just a bat. <laughs> black bat. Now apparently, uh, from what I saw on the video, when um, when the bat uh, was caught by you, the bat was pretty much white, which indicates to me there was no pine tar on it. So your your I take it your hand did not smell like pine tar. Pine tar. You know I. I don't think I caught it there. Dan was saying it was real sticky. So. Oh, okay. So it must be one of those those gobbledygook yeah. uh, clear pine tars. Probably not even made yeah. of pine. I think it was down at the bottom. I think I caught it more towards the top or something. But, yeah, my hands weren't sticky at all, but his were sticky. So. All right. So, you know, I'm a personal friend of Jimmy Fallon, so, uh, you know, I'm going to give him a buzz and, uh, you know, I will uh, get him yeah, to call you. Awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping for that. You know, I've been, I've been trying to keep the line open, you know, for him. So, yes. I my, you know, my, my PR, no one can find me. You know, no one can get my phone number. So, so uh, it's interesting. I, they, they can find my dad. So my 85-year-old dad has been fielding all my calls for me. Wow, that's nice. So, yeah, so he's, he's been keeping his line open for Jimmy. So. <laughs> so that's one of the questions I wanted to ask you. How are all these media outlets getting a hold of you? Is it both you through your cell phone or maybe an old yellow, uh, not a yellow pages, but an f- old phone book? Or are they just looking up government records and, and finding you and showing up at your house? No, you know what? I mean, I seriously, they, they can't find me. They Not one of them has found me. I had, they find, can find my dad, though. So my dad gives me their info. He takes down their information and gives it to me and lets me decide if I want to call them. So and that your dad's your agent, then? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I did have uh, 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 one radio station called My Next Door Neighbor, and they got a hold of me that way. And I had two calls at work, so two people were able to find me at work. So I know these uh, these people are pretty sneaky. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a little. I finally asked them, how are you how are you guys even finding me? And they're just like, oh, we we got do our start doing our research. So. Okay, so then uh, what else do I have? I've got a little cheat sheet, you know, because I when I'm talking to a celeb, I have to be prepared. But I've got also a bunch of scribble notes as well. So I'm thinking of questions, you know, left and right, you know, on the way to work, and I got I could ask her that. Oh. I gotta ask her that too, but then it's not very organized, as you can see. I got an original printout, and then I, then a whole bunch of pen marks. Pardon me? Are you too busy eating? No, you know I'm starving right now. I can go for a Portillo's right about now. You know you should go to a Portillo's and you know get uh, get a couple of free hot dogs. Right, right. I bet the yeah, I bet we could do that. Now, when you're at the grocery store earlier today, are people recognizing you? Not a one. Oh, okay. But that's that's yeah. good in a way because... And, and the thing is, is I'm all ready. You know, I've got my pen out to sign autographs and, you know, nah, 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 I don't want, so. So am I the first international media outlet that uh, that you're talking to? Absolutely. Yeah, I wouldn't talk to, to any other ones. Australia wanted to do an interview, but I said, no, nah, not, not, so, not so I do Canada first, so. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm honored. Now the the only the only big name media outlet that I haven't noticed is CNN. So they're just a bunch of sucks, I tell you. Mm-hmm. So um, you know, and the other comparison uh, with this incident, I mean, people are classifying you as a hero. So you're you're like Captain Sully Sullenberger of U.S. Airways Flight 1549. Uh-huh. I mean, look, the bat the bat was flying toward the crowd. And actually, it was heading right toward the mom and the uh, and the baby. And if you hadn't caught that, I mean, it could have been a huge disaster. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and it, it's funny you 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 say some things, and it's funny how reporters and how they something out totally else gets aired, and 
and stuff. But uh, yeah, um, it it sounds that way. But you know what? To be honest, I wasn't thinking. You know, <laughs> nope. the baby behind me when I got the bat. You know, yeah, I remembered it yeah, afterwards that oh yeah, that's right. We had all those kids sitting there, but yeah, that wasn't the first thing that came in my mind. You know, yeah. Well, you know, there you're with a smile on your face, and oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, and that bat's in my hand, and oh, yeah. the baby's fine. So uh, let's go White Sox. Now, the people sitting around you, you had uh, you had a White Sox uh, fan sitting right be- right beside you as a, uh, an older gentleman. Uh, are they friend- actually friends of ours? Oh, okay. So I was about to ask you. And I'm, there's a bunch of people that are probably right on your coattails telling people, oh, I'm in the video where Eileen caught the bat and, you know, look at me. Yeah. Go, go, go to the yeah. website. They're and all can... celebrities. Exactly. Especially, uh, you know, maybe that guy, uh, the Indian, the, the, the Cleveland plan with the blue shirt and the red hat. I mean, are you, are you friends with him on Facebook now? Who? If you look in the video to your left, there is a guy with a blue shirt on. He's got a red, in, a Cleveland Indians hat, and he's got a blue shirt on. And, you know, he just pretty much no, just... I don't, I don't, no, I don't really know. I'm, I'm guessing, and it's a, I think it'll be a good guess, that he is telling all his friends, I'm in the video, so I'm famous. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. But who's the real famous one? Come on. I mean, who's he trying oh, to kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, man. You know, uh, you know. Uh, uh, wow, this is we're going on 18 minutes here. So I know you have to cut your grass. So I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, I'll let you get on with your everyday life. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the spotlight is gonna is gonna fade away. However, yeah, I, I, yeah. so I need to. Uh, one more thing I need to do is uh, imitate uh, the White Sox uh, broadcaster Kenny the Hawk Harold.